When I first started writing music based on the literature of J.R.R. Tolkien many years ago, I felt almost like I was walking on sacred ground, you know, because he had such an idealized view of music. So I wanted to understand how does he envision the power and role of music in his world, right? Thus the years of research, thus the painstaking notation of vocal ranges, you know. How does an elf sing? How does a dwarf sing? What kind of instruments do hobbits play, right? Things like this, you pull that out of the literature. So with this understanding of how he envisioned music in his world, then I feel like I'm in a better position to be able to do justice to that, to create music that is authentic. Part of the tone we're trying to get to, uh, to relate with the game is also this majestic tone that we discussed, but also a visceral tone. Rohirrim, in, in some sense, exists, and it's a real place, and to bind that real place, it's not glamorizing it and putting in such beautiful lighting that it seems unattainable and, and fantastic. It has to seem authentic and real and organic. Uh, the first things that come to my mind when uh, reinterpreting anything like that is just trying to be true to the original source material. Uh, and it's been interpreted in many different ways. So I think it's, it's getting to the essence and, and trying, to, trying to capture in whatever medium you're working in this time around the, the, the excitement, the, I don't know, grittiness that I think um, embodies the, uh, the novels and the stories. I think the fans have some fairly strong expectations when it comes to Rohan. I mean, they were very, they've been, Rohan is one of the strongest elements in the books in my opinion as far as, uh, as far as stirring the emotions of the readers, captivating them, and creating a mental image of, uh, of, of what people expect. So it's a fairly daunting task to uh, try to try to meet those expectations. In that respect, it's also a, it's also a really fun challenge to try to uh, try to create what we've all seen in our heads while reading the books on the, on the screen. One of the critical things that a composer and an audio team have to do for the players is to find a way to bring them into the world emotionally and help immerse them in the experience so they forget they're sitting at their computer with headphones on, right? They forget that. They feel like they are part of the Rohirrim. They feel like they are wandering around in the Intwash Vale, you know? They feel like they're in that place having that experience. We sort of, I like to say while the players are playing the game, I'm playing the player, right? With some emotional knobs and sliders to kind of bring their emotions into the experience. Mm -hmm. 